Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Janko World. So in yesterday's video, we have created this profile for every user, right? So in today's video, we are going to add font awesome icons in these buttons. And we are going to add edit button and delete button in block detail page if the user has created that block. For example, we are logged in with admin currently and admin has posted this markdown block then admin can only delete and edit this block right as we have done here over here we also want those button in block detail page so admin can do it easily so first i will go to profile page and and i will add icon over here so i'll go to font awesome font awesome then here i will go to icons and i will search for let's see change password so password and uh, i will take this lock click here to copy and go to vs code go to profile page and here you paste it sorry save this come over here refresh you can see this block then i will search for edit okay i will select user pen click here to copy go to profile.html and here i will paste that right then i will go for delete so delete account delete only and i will select this user slash and click here to copy and here i will just paste that icon come over here refresh now you can see these icons now same way we want to work here so i will just go and search for read me i will take this click here and i will paste in front of this read blog okay then again i will search for edit i will just take this pen to square and i will paste it here then i will search for delete again and i will just take this trash and i will paste it over here good so let's refresh now if someone clicks on this read block now we have added icons over here right so i think one more icon is still left uh, it's for time so i will go and search time i will select free and i will take this clock click to copy and i will just paste it over here where our time has been pasted so come over here refresh now our time has been also done so we have added all the icons in this page right so if someone clicks on this read block then it should directly redirect to block detail page here okay so we can do that by just giving url then blog underscore detail okay now we need to pass this slug so post underscore data dot slug so it will automatically connect to it okay come over here refresh go to admin and click on this read blog and you are now directly redirected to markdown right so I, what i'll do i'll go to admin panel first and i'll go to blogs and here i will go and change the author to admin save this now you will go to profile then you can see that now we have two blogs because we have changed author over here right so admin will basically have two blogs and again if you will click on read me then you will be redirected to this 
R programming language, right? So this this thing is now working fine. So now let's bring edit and delete button in block detail page. So to do that, we will go to VS Code and go to block detail blog underscore detail uh, dot html right and uh, now here i will create div tag and in this div tag i will first check for user is authenticated or not so if user dot is underscore authenticated then I will just print high okay in h1 tag come over here refresh okay now authenticated user is coming okay now here we want to match the user so I will just do it if the current user ID user dot ID is double equals to the blogs user ID means that blog dot author dot id if this both id matches then we want the high message otherwise no okay so come over here refresh so we are connect we are currently logged in with admin and the blog is also written by admin so we are seeing high message but if i go to the blog which is written by yosh then we are not seeing this high message so this is working fine now instead of this high message i will just bring buttons so i will go to profile not this um, i will go to profile.html which is in author authors folder and i will just delete that profile.html from the main okay which was created a while ago now i will just copy this both button edit and uh, delete and i will go to block details and paste those button over here come over here refresh now you can see we have got button now we are going to make this button functional later in this video okay later in this series not video so i will just leave space yeah so we have brought the button over here so this is it for today's video guys so in next video um what we are going to do is we will try to make this change password button functional okay we are going to see that how we can change users password so yeah if you like my video please like share, and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please comment down below and also comment your thought about this video and i will see you in next one